an amputee. I'll start with that. I was actually born without a fibula bone in my right leg. I um, would wear tall socks and pretend that nobody knew. Um, and sports was a comfort zone because I could just go out there, run around and, and be successful. I made it a goal to um, play basketball at the Division I level. And at that time, I was still getting picked on and bullied and kind of, you know, in a way that girls are, are in school these days. And I wanted to prove them wrong. I was like, oh, I'm so mad and I just want to prove them all wrong. And so that really motivated me to make my goal happen. It wasn't until um, 2006 when the Paralympic team for volleyball came and trained at my school at Northridge. They asked if I would come see a practice. I saw girls playing a sport of volleyball uh, with disabilities and they were athletes. They were athletes with disabilities and I was like, hey, that's, that's kind of who I am. My whole life changed after that. I um, ended up going to a training camp in Atlanta, Georgia for the first time for Paralympic volleyball. My coaches both agreed that it would be good for me, both basketball and volleyball, and the rest is kind of history. I remained an athlete with a disability, and I think this is important. Nothing really changed in terms of my life except for how I viewed myself. I didn't have a whole lot of confidence, and once I started loving myself for who I was and all the things that I brought to the table, all the things that are different about me make me special, and and it's a good thing. I think that that's where confidence comes in, is, is really feeling good about what you're doing and who, who you are and being really positive about what it is that's a part of your life and, and valuing that. And so that all to me is what confidence means.